Hello, everyone. My name is Kudeta Kandisa. I am a science facilitator at Maker's Place. Maker's Place is a leading STEM education solution provider in Ghana and West Africa. We are also the only internationally accredited STEM organization in Ghana. And I'm, I'm proud to say that we are the only organization which have about 98% of our facilitators with an engineering background. In today's video, we're going to see how we can, the project we are going to work on is animal classifier using picture blocks. We are going to apply the concept of machine learning. So to begin, what even is machine learning? This is basically the process whereby the machine learns how to do things by itself without any human intervention. And it works mainly using three approaches, where we have the input, where you input the information either in an image or sound form. And then there is an algorithm that the machine used to learn from the inputted data. Then finally, based on the, what it has learned, it can then be able to use it to make decisions accordingly. So let's see how we can use picture blocks to do that. So we need to add our extension. So we go to the add extension, then we choose machine learning. Remember, it says you require access to internet to be able to use that. So we have it there. Basically, there are no blocks here, so we need to create our own blocks so that we can be able to use the program in your block. So we click on the create a model, and this is going to take us to a new page. So let me open that page. So we all can see the teachable machine. So that's the online platform that we use for the machine learning to create our block. So you can input the data in image or audio format or a post project. Here we are going to use the image project. And when we click on we select the standard image model, and then we have the class. So we need to be able to we can get it using the webcam or we can upload images. For this project, we are going to load some images. So I need to browse for the location where I have my images. So I'm going to use the training data. So I'm uploading the cut first. Upload everything we have here. So uploading sample. So I think the name to cut, but we are going to make the machine distinguish between cuts and dog. So let me edit the other one and call it dog. And let me drag and upload the image for the dog. Go back. Okay, so dog. So basically, what this is going to do is that you see the first one, which is a cut. It's going to compare all the 10 images we have and see the similarities among them. So that if I was to bring another image, it would then be able to tell whether it's a cut or not. So after considering the similarities in each model or images you've inputted, then it then take the differences, the cat and the dog, and then look at the differences between them. So we can tell you where you have the images, whatever you have, whether it's a cat or dog, by first looking at the similarities between the cat study, the images of the cat which is inputted, and then that of the dog. Okay, so now let's train the model so I'll be able to recognize the similarities and then recognize similarities in both the cat and the dog 
and then be able to know the differences between them. I'm going to transit the pairing training model. You see, it goes all the way to 50, right? I hope you saw that. So it means that we have trained our model 50 times to be able to identify and distinguish between cats and dogs. Good. Now let's see whether our trained model is successful. So I'm going to change the input here to a file. I'm going to browse an image. And then it should tell us whether it's a cat or a dog. This image should not necessarily be part of those that we use to feed it. So I'm going to choose a different data. So we go to the testing data. Good. Now I bring in this white cat. It says I was it's a cat. From the model, we all can see that there's no white cat that I put in, right? But it's been able to successfully identify it as a cat because I'm able to see the similarities in the 10 images I put there for the cat and then I've identified it. So you see, it says 100% confident, meaning that based on what I said, it it is 100% sure that the image I've uploaded is a cat. Let's try another one and see. For a dog, let's see. Let, let me bring this brown dog. Let's see what it tell us. Good. It tells us 100% for the dog. So the confidence level is up. In instances where the confidence level drops, then it means that we need to input more data to help it distinguish the information that you, the data that you input in. Good. By the start of the video, I said we're going to use picture blocks, but why are we testing it with the teachable material? So now that we are done, we need to be able to find a way of using what we have here in the picture block. So we click on the export model. And when you click on the export model, you then have to click on upload my model, then it will generate the link for you. So it's uploading, so let's wait a while. Still uploading. Okay, let's wait a while. That's my network, but I'm sure we done so. So it has been uploaded successfully. So we see the link here, right? So we copy this link, say copy. Then we go into our picture block. And then let's see how we can make use of it. So we then come instead of creating a model, we rather use the mode. We rather use load a model. So when I click on load and model, it asks me to paste. So I need to paste the link to copy it. So I have successfully been able to paste the link. So then I load and model. So still loading, good. So now we've seen our blocks here, right? Good. 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 So here we have this block palette that would help us. If we identify class from, so here we are going to choose the state. If we identify class from the state, if it's in a cat, a class of a cat or dog, because we successfully added it. So basically I'll go to my backdrop this time I run, instead of adding a backup, I'm going to upload those images we're using to test. Yeah, so the test images we have them here, right? So I upload this test images that they come out the backdrop. Okay, good. So I have all of them here. I don't need a first in backdrop, right? So I can delete that one. 
Good. 